Welcome, welcome, welcome once more great and lovely people of Biafra. The man you are seeing on your screen is the same man, you know, um, from the other video, the shirtless video where he wasn't putting on a shirt and he was communicating to someone in a vehicle saying that Arada go, Narada go, Narada, Narwarosa, Narada, and so he went for the um the man asked him um ma he now responded yes but that we are going to wait for the war to come to Biafra territory and then we will defend the land and so um from that video he appeared as though um he was mentally uh, deranged uh, but the truth of the matter is that he is not mentally deranged and uh, i want to use this opportunity to you know send an unreserved apologies an unreserved apologies to him we are very sorry that we perceived you as being mad uh, please do forgive uh, it is not in our character or intentions to you know profile people in that manner but then it was just what we thought at the moment at that material time that was you know um, what we thought and so this current video has explained so many things and he has come out you know to put forward another very very striking information to everyone who cares to know and cares to listen there is a very powerful message that he has for everyone though we are aware of this message but then he has made it clearer or put it in a way in another dimension that people may understand that it is Biafra or not in listen to him of the spirits that the most I put in this world to help humanity live their lives. There are a lot of misconceptions. People come in the talk when they say, I'm not one. I am just a messenger of the most high. And this morning he gave me a message for Ndibo. Ndibo that is their name. Ndibo, o wesi mzio ni naga na ya. Omo ronye mufi we faga anuwa. Naga na ya, o kwa kunu mala mala we chikel. Naga anuwa na ya, omo ne mwa mo emo de kibo kile. So bikon, omo ne chikel ne kwa don. Kanke mi 1966. Libu don dem wat jere libu don yonu bikon. Oye nou kwa, nyan, oye jore nou, nyan nou na. Oye jore, nyan wole mebe. Oye wede na si nan na yala, anan kou mwa yala ou. Ok wo zi kan neje. Eh, nan na yiba, e tu ndo kabado. Eh, oye mwo zi osi mwo zi e, ndi Nigeria, as a whole. Nigerians, mwala mwala na governmenti, no na ochichi tata emozi direction ba mwazi ba na eme ba na akpoku akpoku bikon ase akwa mu na ebe de protest apeta apete wayo wayo eh iba mu na cho e ruti unu mala na mba ko mo the ethnic spirits i don't want i don't use the word god the ethnic spirits of various tribes and tribes and tongues in nigeria have held a pity that they are going to disintegrate Nigeria. And they are presently holding a meeting about who it will favor both for them to be together with. So please, you push the care. That's what I have to do. So from what you just heard, this man has explained deep things that will happen in the nearest future. It is not going to happen today, tomorrow. It is in the nearest future. 
remember if you understand what is happening you would know that pm simon Epa is not a man that says something and goes back he's not a man that comes out to say something without thinking about that thing he has said and that is why he is not a man that when he says something he wants to go back he doesn't do that because he thinks everything through critically before coming out to say what he wants to say he is that kind of man and for him to come out to say that he is going to declare Biafra by 2nd of December and he has given a deadline for the Nigerian government to leave Biafra territory by the 28th day of November it tells you that something would happen and if you understand how stubborn Nigeria is you would know that they were going to wait because this their military behave like uh, what do they call them uh, zombie they tell him go this way they go they tell him go this. even when they see dangers in front of them they cannot even reason fine to say this is danger and we need to you know think for ourselves and protect ourselves they just tell them move and they move and so you will discover that they are going to still stay and wait for what the the the, the Piafra Liberation Army and the resistance fighter and all the Piafra forces will do. And that will lead to what this man has talked about. Aga Gada. You must be careful what you do. You must be ready. You must be prepared. Somebody was talking on um the, the twitter space held by the prime minister ekpa simon joko and he said that he is taking course on how to handle sticks when i say sticks i know you understand what i mean so he is taking courses on how to handle sticks how to manipulate how to you know use those sticks effectively and he is encouraging every Biafran, every youth of Biafra to learn at least how to use these sticks. If you have not had trainings, go and there are places where you can, you know, learn how to handle these things, learn how to aim, learn how to, you know, go and learn how to handle them. Because the times are near that you will need those things for the day and the times ahead is dark and full of evil for the days and times ahead is dark and full of evil you must protect and you know fortify yourself in many ways to ensure that you are strong enough to help in the defense of your land. It is going to be a very, very rugged December. It is going to be very, it's going to be a very, very rugged December. Remember the saying, if you want peace, prepare for war. That saying does not mean that you need to go to war at all. No, no, no. It means that the people who are preventing peace, you must dislodge them for peace to reign. And they, they themselves will not allow you to dislodge them just like that. And that is why that saying says you must prepare for war if you want peace. And it is that war that will usher in peace. Because after you must have cleared all the evil uh, bad eggs, then there could now be a peaceful atmosphere, a friendly atmosphere, a friendly air around. And then progress and unity, you know, will now begin to grow and develop in the land. But if you do not weed off all these bad eggs, then the problems will continue. And that is why the advice of this man is very, very important. And it comes handy at this point that you must learn and understand that for the days are dark and full of, of 
evil. Kindly share this message widely to get to everyone that it is pertinent that we prepare ourselves accordingly. Thank you for listening. Biafra or die.